guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here hey hi hello my name is Lauren I am a part-time seller on the Poshmark app you can find my shop on Poshmark it is at Lolo's boutique l-o-l-o-s boutique I always have a link down below in the description box for you guys also right here on the screen for you to see I'm bringing you guys along for another day in the life of a reseller on Poshmark. It is Sunday and so I have pretty much the whole day just to do whatever I want related to Poshmark and just trying to be productive and busy and all that kind of good stuff. So I'm going to bring you guys along on my little day. You guys really seem to enjoy this video, the last one that I posted. So if you want to go and watch that, I will have a link down below for you guys. I also have an entire playlist full like full now of Poshmark related videos. So if you want to go and watch those, I again will have the link down below to the playlist as well as right here on the screen and at the end of the video so you guys can go and check it out. But you know what? We got lots to do today, so let's get going. About to leave, already packing. Come with me, I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. So I quickly want to show you before I steamed all these clothes. This is the steamer that I use. If you are a reseller and don't have a steamer yet, this is an absolute lifesaver, time saver, awesome thing to invest in if you don't want to spend a lot of money. Um, this you can get at Amazon. I'll have a link down below. It's the Steam Fast Steamer. Literally, you just fill it up, plug it in, and then go ahead and steam all of your lovely new items. So, as you guys can see, I don't do anything crazy fancy. Listen, this is like in my bathroom. I hang everything on the shower curtain and then I'll plug in my steamer and then just get to work. So I quickly wanted to go over and show you guys what I have. This is a scarf that I picked up yesterday. I have an entire haul showing a lot of this stuff, so I'm gonna kinda go through it quickly. If you wanna see more of these pieces, I'll have it linked down below. It's my last video, you guys can go check it out. This is just a little kind of plaid scarf with some raw hem, and as you can see, it's from J. Crew Factory. Thought it was really cute. This is a J. Crew sweater. It's kind of like a light purple. Um, very, very soft. It's an extra, extra small. Love that, though. This is a sweater from a brand that I'm actually not super familiar with. It's called American Rag. Um, it's a size extra small, but what I love about it is the back. It's really pretty, kind of lace up detailing, and this is like a light pinky cream color. I have a Lou in gray. I think that's what it's called, right? Yes. This is a Lou in gray kind of jersey knit top. It's a little bit cropped, not a lot. A bat wing sleeve, long sleeve, and it's a size small, as you can see there. This brand is sold, I think, at Anthropology. Beach Lunch Lounge. This is a little dress. It's kind of a gingham print. It cinches in at the waist. It's button up, has pockets. Just a really cute, comfy dress. Another J. Crew sweater. This is super nice material, whatever it is. Um, it's a sweater though, and it's got these really cute, kind of like simple pockets in the front. And it's almost like a three quarter sleeve, and it kind of cinches in. Um, love this. Would wear it for myself if it, I was small, but I'm not. So, size small. This is a really cute little denim looking romper. It's got the frayed edges, a cinched waist, and an off the shoulder little look. It's by the brand Ellen. Um, and I think this was a size, I think this is a size medium. I need to double check, but I'll have a link to my closet so you can see there. This is a little top. It's kind of like a chambray material, ruffly. It's got a really cute kind of little crochet detailing on the sleeves. It is a high neckline. This is by the brand Intro, which is just like a boutique brand and it's a size small. This is another sweater that I picked up. It's kind of like a light blue, got really pretty cuff sleeves. Loved the detailing down the side. It kind of X and crosses with a little tied ribbon. This is from the brand Kari. Not sure if that's how you pronounce it, but it's a size large. Just a really cute fall and winter sweater. This is a Taylor Swift tour shirt. Um, I thought this would be really cute to pick up. It's a fun kind of thing, and then it's got all of the different tour locations. This is a brand called Melissa Page. I just thought this was really cute, kind of flowy, um, boho style blouse. It's like this pinky peach color. Got really big billowy sleeves and a lot of really fun detailing on the front with some little um, tie tassels here that you can kind of see. And that's a size large. 
This is a dress from American Eagle. I just love the style of it. It's got buttons all the way down. Um, it's got a little tie knot in the front. It is tank top. Got a little scrunchy back on it. I think this is a size small. Yeah, small, long. I don't know that, what that means. But um, just thought it was a really cute kind of piece, so I still grabbed it. This is just a plain red and white stripe Madewell tee. It's got a little bit of a slit on the side and just short sleeves and it's got kind of like a Henley style little V right here. This is a size large, very a simple basic, really cute. This is by the brand Eyeshadow and it's a size large. It's a really cute kind of tank top. It's got um, kind of like a ruffle bottom with some really fun kind of crochet detailing and little tassels again. This is a jacket from actually Old Navy, and I love this. So yeah, this is from Old Navy. It is a size medium, and I just thought it was really, really cute. I loved the detailing on it and the material and the cut of it. Thought it was a really fun kind of piece for fall and winter, so really pretty coat. This is a Banana Republic size extra large cardigan. It is black, it's pretty long, but what is cool about it is it has this slit, if you can kind of see that here. Um, it does have a slit like that that goes up the side, so it kind of has a fun detailing to it. Just really cute. I think it looks best when like the sleeves are rolled up. It's super soft. This is a size extra large. This is a Diane von Furstenberg tank top, and I know it looks kind of weird here. It's navy, but it's like all silk. I love this. Um, this is a size five, and I'm gonna try and figure out what that looks like all nicely done up. This is by Rebecca Taylor. It is a size six, and it's just a really pretty blouse. Um, I think you can find this brand at like Nordstrom and Nordstrom Rack, but I love it. Really cute and boho. Same with this top, it's by the brand I Live For Truth and it is a size large. Another very kind of boho printed top. This is a pure bar shirt, I know it looks kind of funky, but it's uh, got pure bar down here at the bottom, it's short sleeve, and then the back is like a low scoop and has the logo here and just kind of like this little string at the top. This is an Athleta green, um, this has shorts under it, but it's like a dress. It's like an athletic, athleisure style dress. It cinches in at the waist. It has a mesh racer back at the top, the little Athleta logo. Just thought this was really cute. Another Madewell basic. This is a size extra large, and it's just a blush color tank top, and it does have kind of um, a little bit of a high-low style, not much, but it's got a really cute kind of slit detailing on the side. And then lastly is this Nike dry fit kind of pullover shirt. It's a little loose fitting. I think this is a medium. Yeah, but I would even say like large could wear this. And it's got the little Nike logo up there and it does have a hood. So now that I went through all that, my arm kind of hurts. I'm gonna go ahead and steam them all so they're ready to go for this week. Life with no distractions, we'll get away. This is what we waited for. got everything steamed and ready to go to be photographed. Now it's time to go ahead and photograph the items. Today it is actually daytime outside so I've got a little bit of light coming in through these windows here but I still like to use my actual lighting kit that I have. This one is a ring light. I have it linked down below for you guys and this is a softbox light. Again also linked down below. I just hang some of the pieces up here on the side and this is the hanger I try and use for all of the shots. It's just wooden and it also has clips for pants or skirts or bottoms. Got some more pieces hanging here and the rest are waiting in the bathroom until these are done. I just finished photographing all of those items and literally started sweating from it. Um, but now I'm gonna take a couple of flat lays. 
I like to do flat lays for any items that don't look good hung up and also they're really good for like my Instagram. If you're not following me on Instagram, I do have one. It is at Lolo's Boutique Poshmark. Always have a link down below for you guys as well. But I like to share things on there, like pieces that I found or um, different items that are going up in my closet early so you can see like sneak peeks and all sorts of stuff like that. So I like to do some cute flat lays for it because I just think it's fun and it just always looks really cute and all that kind of good stuff. So I'm gonna do some of those. So I'll have them kind of as like stock photos to use and then I'll be all done with photos and then it'll be time to do some shipping. Not looking back, eyes on the freeway, Bonnie and Clyde, a classic cliche, we're on the run. All right guys, so it is time to package up two items that sold yesterday that need to go out. The first of which are these really cute, um, they're called White Mountain. They're actually real leather suede booties. I love these. They have really cute little tassel -y bead things. So someone purchased those. So the other item that was purchased yesterday that I need to wrap is this top right here. It's from Buckle. It was like a denim and acid wash shirt with some really cute little button sleeves and then what was really cute is it had this zip side that had this fun little detailing in it that was really cute this is my buckle though it was a size large and someone who watches my videos bought this so thank you so much um as i mentioned in a couple of my previous videos if you guys ever see anything in my videos that I'm steaming or listing photos of or sharing in a haul and you want to purchase it yourself, please comment down below and let me know. Um, let me know your shop name and I will always tag you in it whenever I share the item um, or finally list it or if you want me to get it up ASAP, I will because you know what? I got some cute stuff in my closet and if you guys want to buy them, I'm not going to say no, you know? So now I've got to go ahead and wrap these up. I am going to ship them out tomorrow because today is Sunday, so I cannot ship today. And then I have three items from yesterday that people ordered that also still have not yet been shipped out because the USPS office was not open yesterday. So now I have to wait until tomorrow, but that's okay. I typically will take... Um, my items during my lunch break at work for those of you who are curious I do still have a full-time job where I work in an office and I during my lunch break will just make sure that I bring them with me to work that day and then I'll run them by the post office during my lunch break so that they get sent out on time and they usually get sent out that day so it's pretty quickly and people get their items and it's great I try and do it as fast as I can I never really wait at all like I hate waiting to ship items because I know how I am when I order something I get so excited for it to come in early that I literally cannot hold it anymore I'm not sure if I shared this with you guys before but this wrapping paper has this really cute um, if you can see, it's like glittery, but it just doesn't look like it right now because the sun's not hitting it. Um, but it's got different colored glitters. I've got some gold, rose gold, and silver ones on there, so you can kind of see here. This is what I wrap a lot of my things in. It's just plain tissue paper. This I got from Marshalls, though, and it comes with the glitter and then also just the plain white so that I can use that as well. But t-shirts and smaller items I wrap in the tissue paper, and then I'll put string around them with their thank you card which I already wrote. Again, these are also from Marshalls. I just think they're so cute. And I will usually write something like, thank you so much for your order. I hope you love it. See you back soon. And then I put my name and the name of my closet so they can make sure to come back. And I'll tuck that into the little tie whenever I have that on there. And then it goes in these poly mailers which I showed in my last reseller day in the life. Um, these are really cute palm leaf mailers. These are from Amazon. I always have them linked down below for you guys if you're also interested in them. They have tons of cute poly mailers online. I know some people prefer to not use them because it's like extra money that you spend on shipping and most people will just use boxes and things like this from the post office because these are all free um, from the post office and that's why I have so many of them in different sizes but I only prefer to use these for larger orders or for shoes or things that I don't want to get smushed. This 
this package is done and has its shipping label on the other side. So now it's time to package up these cutie booties. They've got their thank you card ready to go, but these do not fit in this type of bag, so they go in a box. Someone's a sleepy boy, huh, Charlie? You tired, baby. I know you're sleepy today. So I find that the easiest way to share my items, if I am sharing my entire closet, is to use an like a regular internet. Go on internet. It's so like Google. I use Google Chrome. I'll go on Google Chrome. I'll go to my closet. I'll sign into Poshmark, and I'll share it directly like this. This is exactly how I sell on my computer, which I have here, um, and it's literally the same. I would say it's like the same speed. It's pretty quickly. You just click the share button, click my followers, and you're good to go, and you just go all the way up and through your list. I try and share my closet as much as possible every single day. I am constantly on Poshmark sharing my items. I do like to keep mine kind of in a certain order, so you'll find that my newer items and my favorite items and things that will, I think will sell the best are closer towards the top of my closet. But I keep them all in a certain order, and then I do pretty much everything else on the Poshmark app. I love using the iPad to follow new people on the Poshmark app. This is a great way to grow your following. You click the little person with a plus sign. Look, there's Will Smith. I don't know what that's about. Um, you click the little person on the plus sign in the top right corner, and then you click on new people. As you can see, I can literally follow all of these new people who just joined Poshmark. I think that's so cool, so fun, a great way to grow your following. I also like to go to my brands and I'll scroll down and um, maybe do like Madewell. I always switch it to active sellers because they're more likely to follow back and share for you. And again, I'll just go through and click all the little blue follow guys um, and get lots of new followers. Look guys, it finally happened. I'm a Poshmark ambassador. If you guys have any questions about it, please let me know down below. I will be happy to answer them. Okay guys, so I just shared my three new listings for the day. I always try to do a minimum of three, but I am trying to bump it up to five. The first item was this Pure Bar Pony Scoop um, scoop Back Gray t-shirt. Pure Bar is a workout class, so I thought that would be a good find. This is an athletic dress. The style is a take a hike dress in this really pretty olive green color. And then this is the Fog by London Fog black jacket. Originally it was $140, so I went ahead and listed it at $40. This dress is originally $79, and it was pretty much brand new, but without tags. Like, literally looks like it's never been worn. So I listed that at $30, and then this t-shirt is all right, also super new. Looks like there's no signs of wear or tear or anything, and so I listed it at $20. Um, these are all pretty much, I do my prices based off of um, price comparison, and that is literally just me going into Poshmark and searching an item. Alrighty guys, so I'm going to go through and just share my closet. Um, I try and do this, like I said, as many times during the day as I can. Okay guys, so I just got out of the shower and I'm waiting for my hair to kind of dry a little bit more. As you can see, it is still pretty wet. Um, but I am pretty much just finishing up getting ready. I'm actually going to film two or three videos for my YouTube channel and they are Poshmark related so I thought I would throw this in here for you guys as well. Because a big part of me for my Poshmark actually is YouTube and you guys. I love making content for y'all to watch and learn and grow with me as well and share my experiences and the things that I found and the really cool stuff that I'm gonna be listing on my closet. So, like I said, YouTube is a pretty big part of this for me as well. So, I really like to um, make videos for you guys and 
I love talking about Poshmark with you all and so I can't wait to like continue sharing more. But I am going to film I think two to three videos. One about my whole lighting process and how I take pictures and tips and tricks and stuff like that for photography for Poshmark. And then my other video I think is going to be all about shipping. So like my tips and tricks and how I ship and um, my favorite tools and all that kind of stuff. So I hope you guys will find those videos interesting. They will probably be up after this one. I'm not completely sure how I want to um, upload them, so we'll see. But now I need to find my SD card. My camera battery is charging down here below me. If you guys are wondering what I film my like nicer sit down videos on, I use a Canon 70D. This is a DSLR camera. It's really nice. I love it so much. Um, and yeah, it's a, like I said, Canon 70D. It has a 50 millimeter lens on it, which gives me a super blurry background. This is an awesome camera. Um, I have been doing YouTube for like a couple of years now, so that's why I have a ton of filming equipment and stuff like that. That's why I have these fancy lights that I've been using to take all of my photography for my um, for my closet with like my ring light and my softbox lighting, all that kind of stuff. And uh, why I have this vlog camera and like tripods and all sorts of filming equipment and like photography stuff because I've been doing YouTube for a while so I've collected a lot of things over the years and tools and stuff like that um, and it interests me and that's why I love filming and talking on YouTube and talking to you guys. I'm gonna shut the shower. So I'm gonna finish letting my hair dry a little bit more and while I'm doing that I'm gonna go and set up kind of my whole filming situation and kind of show you guys how I do that and what it looks like behind the scenes. Here's just a little behind the scenes of how I film. I actually only use one soft box light. Two would be handy, but my other one's currently broken. Um, this one points backwards so that it lights up my background and it's not dark there. And then I put this white throw over the couch so it just looks really aesthetically pleasing. I'll move all this stuff out of the background that will show. Then I have my ring light and then I put my DSLR camera here on the tripod. And then I'll use this. It's a Purple Panda Lav Mic. This is the mic that I will clip onto my shirt and gives me really good audio during my videos. So if you guys are curious, I'll link this down below. I'll have actually like everything linked down below for you to find out and buy if you want to yourself. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hey, hi, hello. My name is Lauren. I am a part-time seller on the Poshmark app. A little behind the scenes trick for when I'm filming videos, I kind of write out my plan of things that I want to mention or say and points to bring up before I film the video because you need to see, to like understand and it just keeps me organized, you know? All right guys, so I just finished filming two whole videos. I'm feeling pretty productive and like excited that I got those done because now I can pretty much upload two to three videos this week for you guys. And that's kind of what I've been doing. I used to, when I did YouTube videos, try to stick to a schedule and I really was only uploading like once a week. But I get so excited to share with you guys these different things that I've been uploading like two or three times a week and I wanna keep it going because you guys obviously love them and I love filming them, so why not? If you have any video suggestions, please feel free to leave them down below though because I would love to hear what you guys are like interested in seeing. Anyways, I just got super red because I went in my kitchen. Um, Clay and Charlie are not here. Clay took Charlie to the dog park while I was filming um, because Charlie, as you guys know, loves to bark during my videos and Clay was very sweet and said he would go and take him to the dog park and get some exercise for him, which of course he loves. So he's definitely not gonna complain, but we're about to cook some dinner. I'm gonna get some spaghetti going for tonight and that's what we're gonna eat and then I think after that, I'm gonna spend some time on Poshmark, like I said, just being active on the app and all that good stuff. I already listed my listings for today, so that's a plus. And yeah, that's gonna be it for now. I will update you guys later if I do anything fun. Hey guys, that is 
going to be the end of this vlog. I really hope you guys enjoyed coming along for another day in the life of a reseller on Poshmark. I know you guys loved the last video, so I hope you loved this one too. If you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. You guys can do that by clicking the little red subscribe button right down below. I have an entire playlist full of Poshmark related videos if you guys want to go and check them out. I will have it linked on the screen if I haven't already done it at the end of this video and down below. And just binge watch a bunch of Poshmark stuff. And that's going to be it for me guys. I'm just going to spend the rest of the night on Poshmark app and just chilling and waiting for the week to start since it's Sunday. Tomorrow is going to be Monday. Lovely. Anyways, I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys.